Hey guys, Hack Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own cold boot for the PS3. So basically what a cold boot is, in case you don't know, it's the logo that you get when you turn on your PS3. So the regular original PS3 logo is just says the word PS3. If you're running a custom firmware like Rebug, it's going to say Rebug. Um, so basically you get the point. So I'm going to show you how to make your own. I've already made a video on uh, how to install a different one that you could get from the internet, but today I'm just going to show you how to physically make one through Photoshop or whatever uh, you use. So I've actually gotten a new mic actually, so if you've noticed a sound difference in quality, then I mean, that's great, <laughs> you know, I really hope because my other mic was really staticky and I didn't like it. So uh, I finally got it, it's a sn blue snowball ice, so um, great price, seems like a nice mic. Um, before I begin, I'd like to give a shout out to F2P Gamer. He made a um, Minecraft server, uh, and he's a friend of mine. So go ahead and check out that Minecraft server. It's a PvP, and uh, it's pretty cool. I went on it. Um, it, it works really nice, really well coded. And um, so yeah, I'll, I'll put the IP on the screen and in the description. So let's get started. Uh, first thing you're gonna want to do is download this thing called an Easy Static Wrap Converter. Uh, it's V1.0. So um, it's an EXE and you're probably like, oh my god, he's trying to you scam us and give us a virus. So no, I'm not. So I'm just going to download it and I'm going to show you that it works and there's no virus. And I'll give you the same exact link in the description. So there it is. Easy, easy RAF converter. I'm going to click straight on it. Run. And basically it will ask you to open a file inside it. We're going to use this later. So it's right here. Okay, so choose a, uh, an image that you want to use as your cold boot. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be using my channel's logo. So this is my channel's logo that uh, was made by Force Edits. Um, I'll also give you a link to him to his channel as well. <clears throat> he makes really nice graphics. And so I'm going to make it as my boot logo. So first thing I want to do is go into Photoshop and open up that picture that you want. So Control O, <clears throat> I'm going to locate it right here. So what you could do is basically edit it however you want. It doesn't matter what size it is. I'd say it has to be probably uh, 1080 or smaller. 1920 by 10, 1080 or smaller. Um, <clears throat> but I wouldn't even suggest using something that's that, that, that's that big. Just use the logo. So this is my logo. Again, doesn't matter what size it is. So you could edit it however you want. What I wanted to do was remove this uh, blue background from it. So I'm not going to do that now because it takes uh, a little bit of time. So when you do that, it looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. So it looks like this. Basically, if I scroll uh, from here to here, you see it's the exact same logo, there's just no background. So if you want to know how to do that, you could search a tutorial on YouTube. It's really not that difficult. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty nice. Um, so the next thing I want to recommend is that you make it a little bit transparent. I feel as though most logos uh, that are used as boot logos are transparent. So in order to make it transparent, you want to go to opacity right here and set it to, I'd say, about like 75. So it looks like this. That looks pretty nice. Um, and all you really have to do now is just click File, Save As, and make sure you save it as a PNG. So I'll save that as, uh, and I'll name it tutorial okay so now that it's saved it's right here so it's slightly transparent um, and I just left the same size as usual so what you want to do is click on the easy static RAF converter click run and it'll ask you to open a file. So go locate that Photoshop you know, image that you just uh, made. And uh, mine's right here, tutorial, open. And basically this will allow you to build it. Um, so you can play around with the settings however you'd like. Um, I'm not gonna resize it at all. Um, so, so just leave it like that if you want. If you want to resize it, you could set it to custom or you know, has options here. So next, for position, you can really position it anywhere you want, but most uh, logos that you'll ever see are center right. Okay, and now um, if you just want to see how it'll turn out, you can just click show preview. And as you can see, it'll look like that. So I'm pretty satisfied with this. It's a little, it maybe is a little bit small. If it's a little bit small, you could actually make it a little bit bigger again. Um, well, first you could 
hide preview. You can just go to custom and enlarge it, maybe like 600 by 600, but um, I don't want to stretch it because it'll, uh, it'll ruin the quality a little bit. So I'm just going to leave it like that. All I want to do is just hit convert. And it says done, just click OK. Uh, now you can just exit. And now you have this folder that popped up. And it says tutorial or whatever you named it. And now we have something in here that says cold boot. That's the cold boot file we're going to replace. So what you're going to want to do is head into your uh, PS3 and open up Rebug Toolbox. You have to use Rebug Toolbox for this, Toolbox for this because we're going to be going into your directory of our PS3 called dev underscore rebug. So, uh, okay, okay. Now I'm just going to minimize this. Um, well, or I could just get my IP first, actually. So I'll click System Information, and it'll show your IP. So mine's 192.168.137.33. So now you could just go into FileZilla. I'm connected to my PS3 with uh, the Target Manager. Um, otherwise, you could use CCAPI, whatever. Um, so mine was 192.168.2. No, not dot two. Dot one three seven dot three three, right? I'm just gonna double check. Yes. And I'll click quick connect. Um and so now we should see a directory that says dev underscore rebug. If you're not in rebug, then you're not gonna see this. All you have to do is just open up a uh, rebug toolbox. So go in there, go into VSH, go into resource. And now you could just scroll down to co to cold boot, so you could see it right here, coldboot.rath. So what we're going to want to do is just put this on the right side of the screen, get this open, and drag the cold boot that you made into this folder. Copy. It'll ask you to replace it, so just click overwrite. Okay. Uh, and it should have worked, so I'll just close this out. And it should say successful transfers one good. So that means it's been it's been transferred. So uh, now that it's in there, you gotta restart your PS3, and you will see the magic. By the way, you could also change the music uh, or the sound effect as well, which I'm not gonna be covering in this video. But if you ever want to change those, it'll be coldboot.multi.ac3 and coldboot.stereo.ac3. But anyway, um, you're gonna have to restart your PS3. So I'm just gonna close this. Um, and I, since I'm in uh, Target Manager, I could just um, uh, reset the kernels. So I'll just click this button, and it'll restart the PS3. So I'm going to minimize this, and you can see all the glory. As you can see, that's my uh, YouTube channel's logo on my PS3. It looks beautiful. So if this video was helpful, please uh, leave a light ra like rating, uh, comment. Just uh, also make sure to tell me what you want to see from my channel, and I'll get to it. Um, I also wanted to know if you guys wanted me to make a beginner series because not everybody on my channel who watches my videos are very experienced modders. Some of them are beginners and I get quite a few beginner questions. So if you guys want me to make a series uh, for beginner modding and make very simple tutorials to help you start out, then please let me know. Um, so yeah, see you later.